All right, so we'll do a recap, guys. Let's do a recap on trading the news. So we did a video this morning on how to trade these setups this morning. And I want to do a short recap. This is going to be a five-minute recap. So uh, let's do a recap on trading the news. We have this SIM scalper. The SIM scalper can be used as a standalone indicator or it can be used as an automated uh, strategy. So this is the automated strategy on these markets. I'm going to show you this morning. Um, we can use it two ways. We can use it as an indicator to look for setups or we can use it as an automated strategy to fire in these trades with our stops, targets, etc. So the SIM scalper was designed to put all three of my setups into one trading platform. And that's uh, one strategy. That strategy called the SIM scalper looks for these zone breaks, failure trades, and slingshot trades. This is specifically how to trade news today. So the first video we just did is how to trade news. Play that video. I go in detail how to trade the news. This is a recap after we did the video. We did the video at 8.30 this morning, how to trade these signals. And now this would be the recap. So let's look at first of the S&P. So when trading the news events, there's two, uh, there, there's two smooth Rinko sizes to use using the SIM scalper. There's a shorter Rinko scalper and there's a longer Rinko scalper. These are small Rinko size, sizes that I optimize. So you can see the S&P, we've only had one, two, three transitions on my, uh, my small smooth Renko sizes. Members, after this video, I'm going to recap and send this out to all your emails specifically on the exact settings on all these charts. So you have them. They are in the PDF, but I don't elaborate uh, as much in the PDF on the smaller Renko sizes as I do the larger so I'm going to go and send that out to all of to all members after this recap. Also, I will update the these charts on the PDF and put on the members download page with the settings exactly beside them. So let's go over this then. Let's go over trading news. So with news events using the SIM scalper, you can use our shorter smooth Renko sizes. Now the shorter smooth Renko sizes, they're all the same except for two markets. Gold and NASDAQ, I double the size on my Renko size because they're faster markets and they're a little bit more volatile. But as far as the basket of normal markets like the S&P, the Dow, the RTY, the Russell 2000, and uh, markets like this um, and crude oil, we use specifically one Renko size, which members, I'll get that out to you after this recap. So the recap is this. If you're trading news, we do not want to trade this no trade zone. You don't want to run a strategy through a no trade zone. This is three minutes uh, prior to news and three minutes after the news. So that six minute window, some traders like five minutes before news, five minutes after, that's fine. I like turning on the strategy strategies uh, three minutes after the news on all these markets. So to each its own, you guys can decide, but the no trade zone should be at least three minutes before or after the news. So you can run these smaller Renko sizes through uh, minutes after the news events. So after the news came out, we rallied, had a big rally in the S&P here. I'm going to get an arrow real quick. We have a nice little rally on the S&P. To, to, to fake all the traders out. They fake the traders out and then they just drill the marker right here on my, my smooth Renko. This is when you're going to start looking for liquidity grabs. Now I was live in the room. I was talking live on the microphone as this was ticking live today. And as the market started moving down, we had this big long liquidity grab. Now what a liquidity grab is, is if you have uh, an institution or you have an algorithm or you have a bank or you have a hedge fund or a prop firm they can't just go out there and and short a hundred contracts 200 contracts 500 contracts it's going to affect the market right so you, you they're not going to get really good fills so what they try to do is they try to grab liquidity 
on pullbacks with trend to catch the counter trend traders because a lot of traders use all these lagging indicators like the MAC or stochastics or the, all these other lagging indicators or divergence, all these things to look for entries in the market or pivot levels or Fibonacci levels, all these levels. Well, what happens is, is the market is designed uh, to rinse and repeat. What I mean by that, it likes to grab liquidity to get those type of traders out of the market to grab liquidity and to bring it back in the direction it was going. So let me blow this up a little bit further so you can see it up close. So as the market was ticking down today, live on the S&P, I was live on the microphone, and we saw this big liquidity grab right here, this blip. This was turning green. This candle was turning green. It's ticking green live. And I said they're trying to grab liquidity in the market. Now, this is right on the edge of my market profile low value areas trying to break down at the same time, which is awesome because the market profiles worked for 39 years in a row. It looks for at all the market participants. This was trading right on the edge of our LVA, which even gave it even a bigger punch. But you could see, I could see that they were driving this back, getting the counter trend traders out. So how you can find liquidity once they start ticking this back green, as the bar is ticking green, I told the traders in the room, if this closes back red, and we get a yellow candle that fires off because this is my built-in SIM scalper. The SIM scalper, the yellow candle, if it fires, that means we have a combination of a liquidity grab where they took the counter trend traders out. Then we have my yellow candle that fires in for the zone break. And sure enough, it did. Uh, good job, the traders that took that short that was posted in the room. Uh, great job on this. They got short here at this level, 57.5, and the market just started to tank. They try to grab liquidity here to get more counter trend traders out. They try to grab liquidity here. They brought it back down, closed it, did not work. They brought it all the way down to low as 47 and three quarters. So we had a 10 point drop in the S&P and we were doing it live in the room before it even happened, all right? I looked for the liquidity grab, yellow zone break worked out great. So 10, 10, 10 drop potential. Then we had a big trend change on this on, on the market. You don't know it is a liquidity grab until it closes, right? So it, it started ticking green, 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 green. You don't want to short this until it closes back red again, but it closed green. That's a trend change. I have trend filters built into already the SIM scalper. So that was a big giant liquidity. They just pulled into the market. Then they fired my yellow zone break. My yellow zone break got the algorithm long um, at 55, 58 and a half, and then the market just exploded to the upside. Um, we moved hard to the upside on the way up. Let's give you current data right now where it's trading right now. We just had another liquidity grab short live right now that's happening currently. Uh, but if you look, we we moved we moved from 55, 58 and a half all the way as high as 55.85. So we had a real big move in the S&P and the SIM scalper caught right at the beginning of the phase. Liquidity grab, zone break on this uh, specific Rinko and look what they tried to do. They tried to grab liquidity here, get the counter trend traders out here, counter trend traders out here, counter trend traders out here, and they just pegged it north. Then we get a big trend change that happened at 1041. The market starts moving down, get a big liquidity grab right here. They get all the counters back out of the market, but it closes right back red. So we're looking for a downside push. I taught traders this morning how to trade this transition phase on V tops, V bottoms. I will send an email out to you guys. I'll be doing a video on that again, how to catch a V top like this and how to catch a V bottom by looking at my 12020 chart added with the SIM scalper in it. It gave us a buy signal here on our long Rinko right here in the middle of this bar gave us a buy signal. So you want to take the first liquidity grab and show you how to do that. And then it gave a big sell signal as we got moved down here. So then we start moving down. We had a liquidity grab short. This is where you go short if you had a V top on the 120, which I show you how to do. Then we start moving down. Then we get the big liquidity grab. This just happened right before this video. 
You can see it ticking live right now. Big liquidity grab. They take the counters out of the market right there at 68 and three quarters. Hi. Bring it back down. Red. Next candle is my zone break. Then they're short, 62 and three quarters short. It's got as low as 53 and a half. Another almost 10 points, 10 point drop here. Big move there from 58 and a half all the way up to 85. Now we're back down here at this level. So that's how we can trade the shorter Rinko sizes minutes after the news. I'm talking about monthly non-farm payrolls, monthly GDP, monthly CPI, monthly PPI, monthly retail sales monthly Fed minutes, monthly Fed, our, our Fed rates when they come out. So this has been the news trading for the, um, for the S&P. Worked very, very well this morning. Let's look at other markets, how we did this morning on other markets. Let's look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ did not disappoint. NASDAQ did not disappoint. NASDAQ this morning, if we look at the NASDAQ futures, you do not want to trade the trade zone, the no trade zone, no trade zone here. What did they do immediately? They liquidity grabbed at 840 this morning, 10 minutes after news, they liquidity grabbed right here at 945. And then we had a really nice follow through on these markets, on both these markets as we follow through to the uh, upside and downside. So this is trading uh, liquidity grab with the zone break immediately afterwards. If I blow this up, and I look at what they did. Here it is again. There's your no trade zone, right? You want to trade three minutes after news. Look what they did on this specific Rinko size. Look at this large liquidity grab. Right into the zone break. There's a large liquidity grab. They caught all those counter turn traders long, took them out. All those counter turn traders long, took them out. Then my zone break, and then we get a nice little move. Uh, that happened as far as the um, the the Nasdaq goes. S and P's in a uh, the Dow's in a trade right now. This is a Dow. I'll go, I'll show you minutes after news. What happened? The Dow also big liquidity grab, zone break right afterwards. Got short at thirty nine thousand six ninety three. Got as low as uh, six o two as far as that grab. But let's take a minutes after the news. After the news, I'll skinny this down. There's the Dow. Skinny this over. So the Dow, no trade zone again on the Dow. There's your Dow, no trade zone. They got a big liquidity grab that happened at 8:53 this morning, minutes after the news, or 20 minutes after the news. Big short on the Dow, uh, 39,548. Lowest potential of uh, 39,465. So it just got taken to the woodshed, but then the transition phase, it got into the transition phase to the upside, had a nice little big run minutes after trading the news on the Dow. If we go into markets like, let's say gold, let's look at gold, the entire session on gold. Here's the entire session on gold with the SIM scalper. Um, they've had one, two, three setups on that. Let's look at uh, crude oil for the session, session on crude oil with the SIM scalper. Let's look at the session here. We've had one big short on crude oil um, right here at 73. This is a transition V top. I show you how to do on the 12020. You could have got short right here using my technique on the V top. This is a V top this morning uh, that happened, and I show you how to short this liquidity grab right there. Uh, we will be doing a video for members how to do that um, also. So that is how you want to trade. You can trade the uh, Sim scalper two ways. This is a recap of the news. If you trade smaller Rinkos, the smaller Rinkos that I'm going to show out to all members, I'll, I'll get that out to you. I'll actually update this in the PDF also for you, the exact settings in the PDF. We'll get that out to you members this weekend. Um, smaller Rinko, minutes after news events, and during trading hours, It can be used as an indicator. For liquidity grabs and zone breaks.
All right. Secondly, you can run the large Renko size. I'm doing a market replay for all members here in about a half hour. I'm going to show them the large Renko size. We're doing a market replay in a half hour here for members in the room. Larger Renko, smooth Renko. I'm going to show you how you can run this thing 24 hours a day. On any market. That's how you can do it. We can use the smaller Renko sizes for automation, minutes after news events. You don't want to run the smaller Renko size 24 hours a day because you don't want to go through chop on them. But then you can also use them as a, what? You can use them as an indicator too. Just turn on the strategy and these will automatically fire. These yellow candles will automatically fire with the liquidity grabs. And then you can have a basket. What I, what I teach traders is this. You can have the basket already lined up. You can have beside each other, you can have the all beside like this. So they're running right beside each other. You can have the Dow running, oops, the S&P running on one chart. Because these are baskets that work great together. There's a NASDAQ futures, run that beside it. You can run the basket and have it just run together. What I mean by that, because if you look at news events right after they happen, with news events, there's your news, there's your news. Look how they all like to go together. Here's your news. So you can run the basket beside each other and look for these setups as they come up. You know, look at the, the Dow, NASDAQ, I mean the S&P, NASDAQ, Dow. You can run them beside each other and have them up like this and just look for setups, All right there's liquidity grab sell, liquidity grab sell. You can have them all beside each other and just look for liquidity grab when they come together like this. That's called the basket.